out of here. Somebody help. How do we get out of here? How do we get out of this? <gasps> Sad! Mama? Yep, this is my boy. Huh? What? Mama. This man, isn't he the king of Ura? Oh, I'll tell you later. Long story. We're out of here. Come on. Move it. Okay.
wish I was stronger. Just like a dream With the warmth that's in your eyes When you look at me I hear your voice beside me It whispers to me I can't hide how it makes me feel The shyness you see But I know how I feel, what I hold deep in my heart There's just no way to stop this, it's hopeless but true I feel this love more than anything So what more can I do? stronger than I am But then I feel the boldness that's inside my heart just melt away How I feel for you and what I want to say keeps getting locked Into something so cool in this life of mine that I oh, 
I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I dreamed you were singing. At least I thought I was dreaming. Were you really singing? No. Yeah, I... It's not something I do in front of people normally. Well, what? What happened to your eyes? My eyes? The color's different. What's going on? I had a dream. You mean... your memories? Yes. Somehow, protecting you and releasing all that magic energy... It might have released the seal upon my memories as well. After all, I did seal off my own memories. You remember! That's... that's great! Uh, what's wrong? Are you upset about something that happened? Huh? Kaim really hated his memories. He said they were nothing but painful. As painful as it is, I think it's my duty to regain these memories. Duty? What do you mean? Kaim... likely had much more involvement with other people than I. He has seen much more of life and death. The weight of a thousand years... can indeed be painful. But I want to look back, carefully, at all of those years. Ah, uh, wow, a thousand years. That's really long. I can see how it could be bad. You know, have everything change except for yourself, that would be hard. Mm. You are incredible. To live a thousand years, simply incredible. I can't even imagine. Uh, here, um, have some food. <laughs> this was uh, all there was. It's not fit for a queen, but uh, you know, it's keep your strength up. Thank you. Shall we eat? I'm uh, okay. You go ahead. You need to get your strength back. You must be exhausted. You had to use a lot of magic energy to protect me. But as a result, I finally know who I am. Thanks to you. Well, yeah, you know, I did what I had to do there. I just kind of sat there and uh, you basically protected me. Yeah, that was really embarrassing, actually. Oh, man. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> Your Majesty, what will you do? All of your precious subjects shall now become fodder for Arthrosaurus to feed on. Everything they have built, their town, culture, history, 
Their lives, their meager happiness, all shall literally be crushed under their feet. Only you can stop this, Your Majesty. Me, Nomara. Why have you done this? Do you have no compassion at all? Ah, you realize, of course, that while you stand here... Oh, even more of your people have been slaughtered. Gongora, you monster! <laughs> you and I have an eternity. But do you have time to hesitate, your majesty? Are you deaf to their screams? What must I do? It's times like these that immortals are so inconvenient. I can't very well take your life. However, whether one chooses to live as a walking corpse or to throw one's life away, the end result is the same. What are you talking about? You will seal off your memories. What? Your magic energy is very powerful. Use it to hypnotize yourself and lock your memories away. If you do so, I shall halt Arthrosaurus. You coward. You have only two choices here. Your Majesty, please, we must hurry. Who are you? And why do you dress me as Your Majesty? Because you are the Queen of Numara. I am? Truly? people.